Hey everybody, it's Brian, and it was about 10 o'clock at night, about an hour and a half ago, I started a case study with Facebook uh, to see if I couldn't generate some leads for my real estate business, and I uh, just wanted to share with you what I'm doing, how it's working out so far, and uh, we'll go from there. So let's take a look. Okay, so what I did with this uh, this case study is, first of all, I went to my lead pages page and created a um, just a simple template. In fact, let me show you what that is. Um, here it is. So when people click through my ad on Facebook, and it's just an advertisement, it's not a link to a page, it's just an ad, um, they land on this, uh, this particular lead capture page, which has a picture of a price reduced, foreclosures, bank owned, save $40,000 off the purchase of your next home, get exclusive early access to the bargain properties for sale in this area this week. When people click here, um, then they're allowed to enter in their email address. Now, if you'll notice, I just want their email address. I don't want their first name and email. The reason for that is because the more fields people have to fill out, the lower your conversion rate. So initially, we're just going to capture email, and then over time, we're going to send them to different pages where we're going to capture more information about them. So that's the page. And if you look, I just created it a couple hours ago. It's this page right here. It's had 15 clicks and one conversion. So it's converting about 7%, which is uh, is actually not bad. It could be a lot better, but it's not bad. In fact, for many pages like this, a conversion rate of 1% to 2% is often expected. So a 7% conversion rate is fantastic. So let me show you what I did when... Uh, when I put this on on uh, Facebook. <clears throat> so once again here's the page and what I did is I went to Facebook and I created basically uh, this simple campaign. It's uh, five dollars a day. Um, I started it at 1 10 p.m. a couple hours ago and so far I spent a four dollars and fifty five cents. For that I've gotten three clicks and four click and one click so four clicks total and my cost per click right now is a dollar fourteen which isn't fantastic but what we'll be doing is optimizing that over time now as you go down the two ads that are running you can see one has a two and a half percent conversion rate one has a 0.5 percent so what we'll probably do after we'll let this run a little bit longer is discontinue this ad in favor of this other ad so let me show you what they look like and who they're targeting the ads themselves, the text are identical. The only difference is the image. So we're testing one ad versus the other one. And as you can see, you've got one website click on this this particular version, and uh, three website clicks and one post share on this one. Post share is great because that's expanding my reach. So the target for this location, this part of Utah, age demographics 23 to 55, education. I'm looking for college graduates. Those are my target because they're generally in a higher income bracket and I'm looking for people that want to spend money on an income property or want to buy houses that um, are in a higher higher, uh, higher level. <clears throat> With my target, I'm looking at people that are newlyweds within the last year, newly engaged, expectant parents, or newly engaged within a year, or newlyweds within six months. These are the people that are going through a life change and are probably going to be moving relatively shortly. Um, the bid on this one was 29 cents to 67 cents. I think my current cost per click bid is 95 95 cents because I want the traffic. I, I don't want to be um, edged out from anyone else. I want people to see this as we're testing it and optimizing it. So as you can see we've got the two different ads and this one is running a little bit better. Potential for this ad is 14,800 people of which it looks like 221 have seen this version of the ad, 367 have seen that version of the ad. Um, so not a lot of people, not a huge demographic, but these are the people in this area that are going to be moving here pretty soon. So once again, we've gotten basically four clicks, and with that, um, we've got one conversion. So this particular conversion, this lead cost me $4.55. Not ideal. But when you compare it to the $20 and $30 that Realtor.com, Truly, and Zillow charge you for the same type of lead, it's actually a lot more economical. Now, with these particular leads, because they are internet leads, generally what you'll find is you need 100 of them to convert into one client. But the advantage of this is that you can get up to 100 leads in just a couple days 
So you can get that one client in just a couple days and it's very easy to convert them. So now when someone signs up, what do they get? They go to this page, they click in, they get their email address, and they're sent this email. Basically, thank you for uh, signing up. Here's your list of investments. Click here to get your bargain properties. Now with this link, what I've done is I sent it to my, my uh, uh, market leader <clears throat> static page with the search criteria already in the search bar. Now you can't see it in this, this field, but the search criteria is already there. And the reason I did that is because, well, two reasons. One, I don't have to every week or every time I get a subscriber resend this information. Every time they click in, that URL is going to include the search criteria. So these 36 homes, they'll change as the listings on the MLS and the IDX, IDX systems change. So that way, I really don't have to worry about updating this email every single week. The other reason I'm sending people here is after you click in these houses for two or three times, you're sent to another lead capture page where you're asked to register with your name, email address, and phone number. So that's where I get their name, their phone number, their email address, and begin to earnestly convert them into a good solid lead. So that's it. That's the process. And as I said, so far I've spent $4.55. We've got one good lead out of it. And uh, hopefully by tomorrow afternoon, we'll have five or six other good leads. And then we'll just build from there. As I said, it'll take 100 to get one good conversion. But um, that, uh, that client will more than pay for the investment in this type of advertising. So just to repeat one more time, people land on one of these ads. They'll click through, get sent to this landing page where they click in and enter in their email address. Once they do that, they'll receive this email, which sends them to this automatically updating page that will capture more of their information. So it's a very simple process, totally automated. And <clears throat> after they get this information, then on a weekly basis, I can follow up with them by email, nurture them, get them to know me better, and turn them into either a buyer or a seller, depending on what their needs are. So this is Brian Nelson. I hope you found this interesting.